It's described as a friendly, intimate comic convention, and it's happening this weekend in San Diego. Comic Fest 2018 features local and national comic book artists and writers. They're all at the Town and Country Resort in Mission Valley. That's where KPBS arts and culture reporter Beth Accomando is tonight. I'm here at the dealer's room at San Diego Comic Fest, and we have San Diego Comic Fest chairman Matt Dunford. Little old me? That's right. So tell us, this is billed as the friendlier, kind of smaller version of Comic Con. What's that all about? So here at San Diego Comic Fest, we're celebrating our sixth year, and it's a small, intimate convention, but it still has a lot of activity. It's got a lot of things going on. So we're showcasing a lot of things, for example, 200 years of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, as you can demonstrate right here, having a nice little party for Frank. But we also, well, you know, we focus on comics and animation and film and science fiction and all the geeky things on a smaller scale in a more controlled environment. So that way, it's just friendly. It's nice. It's wonderful because you're running into your friends all the time. You're running into the people who made the, you know, your favorite comics and your favorite cartoons, and it's just so cool because you can just come up and just hang out with these people. In bigger conventions, it tends to be a more intimidating setting, and so people get overwhelmed, they freak out, I don't know what to do. And sometimes when you want to ask a question of these big celebrities or writers, you go up in front of a panel, in front of a mic, and say, hi, I, um, I love your work. And it, that, when you're saying a question like that in front of 2,000 people, it's kind of scary. But here when you do it just in a casual setting, it's fun, and it's nice, and it just takes the edge off. And I just, I just want everyone to have a good time here. And I understand you are on some panels yourself and you are having a little bit of a geeking out on these panels. You know, I'm geeking out right now because, well, I just got off hosting a spotlight on the spotlight of John Semper, and John Semper wrote the Spider-Man cartoon back when I was a kid, which was my all-time favorite cartoon. He worked on Muppet Babies and Fraggle Rock and a number of Jim Henson cartoons back in the day, and so I'm feeling pretty euphoric right now. And people can also go down Artist Alley and actually look at some artwork and even have some custom art done. Uh, yes, there's a lot of custom artwork going on right now, so if you want, go up to Artist Alley, which is on the ninth floor with, next to our Frankenstein Cafe. It's really cool, so you can just go up and just get some custom artwork, one-of-a-kind thing. I always recommend, you know, why get something that anyone else could do when you can just have an artist create something all your own? And we have also got a great thing going on this weekend for our auction. A lot of artists have taken some pairs of knock around sunglasses drawn on really cool custom pairs they're gonna be drawn on some custom ones everything from frankenstein to mummy patterns so if you want to feel you know cool with some shades or whatnot just uh come to our charity auction and get some custom sunglasses custom artwork get toys get whatever i just want you loving this stuff and coming out here and loving comic conventions as much as i do and we do have some celebrities here on the floor that you might like to meet including sarah karloff who is boris karloff's daughter uh, if it weren't for the fans, I'd stay home and clean my own oven. The fans are wonderful. They're so respectful of the legacy that my father left. And he was one of the very few people in the business about whom nothing negative was ever written or said. That's remarkable in and of itself. Sarah Karloff has a presentation tomorrow at 1 p.m. I'm Beth Accomando, KPBS arts reporter, and San Diego Comic Fest continues through Sunday here at the San Diego Town & Country.